Well, it's been about 14 months since state crews paved a section of Fort Weaver Road with a mix of asphalt and plastic. And after the recent rain caused potholes around the island, we wanted to know how the new road is performing. Bryce Moore has the details. Oh, it's a great start right now. There's no cracks. State's Representative David Alcos III lives on Fort Weaver Road, right along where the new road was paved last October. It feels smoother than the regular road. Seems like the plastic's holding it together, making it even much more smoother. Like some of the other pavements, if you look, you can see the bumps inside of it right now. This one, it feels like you can ride a skateboard. Transportation officials say since 2015, most Hawaii roads have been paved with polymer mixed asphalt, or PMA. A section of Fort Weaver has a mixture of PMA and plastic. And even after recent rain, no potholes in this area, and, and we didn't expect any. When we start combining our neat mix, our, our normal mix four, with plastic, it's a better binder for everything. We know PMA works really, really well, um, and we know that PMA with plastic is going to work even better. Sniffin adds testing for microplastics shows no increased leaching. One is they submerge it, um, and they, they check to see if in a vacuum to see if any of that microplastic leaches out. So they test the water to see any leaching that occurs, and so far none. Testing for erosion is also looking good. Representative Alcos hopes it holds up. You had some rain. Right now there's no cracks or any um, gouges in the road. The road looks really smooth so far. Um, we gotta check it out in five years, 10 years, and see how it comes out. Now, plastic from the mainland was used in this Fort Weaver Road project, but officials tell me they're looking at using recyclables straight from Hawaii in local projects, no pun intended, down the road. It's huge. I mean, it would be huge. All the plastics that we use right now, if we can turn them into road um, in materials, humongous. We get all of that stuff out of our landfills, out of our H power burning, and get it right into our roadways. I see this expanding to more than just pavements. If we can expand this to other industries that provide a better material with waste products that we utilize and, and get out of our landfills, it would be tremendous. Bryce Moore, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.